Western News Desk. My name is Kimini Nyamani Amano. Now, President Dramani Mahamani's capacity as chair of the Authority of Heads of State and Government of uh, the Economic Community of West African States will be hosting leaders of the sub region at a two day summit in Accra on Thursday, 10th, and Friday, 11th July. The police service will block some roads during the two day summit. Mike Lee Kwebna Chin Chin Hene Boating. Uh, He's joined me over the telephone. He's been with the police. Hello, Kwabna. Uh, thank you very much for joining us here. But what have you got for us? Well, so far, uh, the police just arrived and uh, they are actually briefing the media on the routes that are going to be blocked uh, in the, on the streets of Accra. So without much ado, I would just like to take a live feed of what the police is actually saying and I'll get back to you and give you updates of other things that have been said so far. Absolutely. So, the last the last summit was placed as a very beautiful uh, um, 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 it was, you know, meeting in Ghana. And we think that we need to talk more successes. But if we leave it to the police, and for that matter, the law enforcement and security agents alone, we may not be able to do it. We need a cooperation with the general public. And that's why we think that we must give you a prior notice. Previously, we were not able to give you the advance notice. And therefore, there was a little bit of chaos. Today, we think that it's about 48 hours to the day. And uh, with the help of the media, we think that the public will be well informed. And like we say, all the areas where we need to divert, there'll be a policeman there, policeman or policeman, depending on the nature of that area. So we just want this to go around. And uh, we believe that the media will pick this up. And the general public will, will also lend their support for this exercise that is coming on today is a very successful one. So what day and what time are you closing those days? Uh, the arrival is tomorrow, but we're not closing the road tomorrow. We will begin the closure on Thursday morning, 5 a.m. So when? Till Friday, 6 p.m. So all we're asking for is that people should cooperate with us. We will make it as much as possible not to inconvenience any motorists. Well, we, we, we will put men available to be direct vehicles on very safer routes. So we'll make it as much as possible to, to make it possible for everybody to go about his duty without any inconvenience. But we are asking for your support because we cannot do it on our own alone. I covered the last summit there. The difficulty, one of seven. I have said one thing. From the effort to this thing, when the summit started, the route would have been left so that the traffic was slow, but then it was still blocked. And this caused a lot of traffic. Are we going to see any changes in that? I mean, that is why we, we went back to look at what we did last time. And we have corrected all those lapses. We will make sure that at a time when the roads are not needed by the dignitaries, policemen will be there to direct what to do. When the dignitaries are going to use them, the policemen will be there to direct what to do. All, all we are asking is that obey the police who are there. They are there for your interest. They are there for the interest of the Madagana. And therefore, obey their instructions. They've been given instructions so that you and I will go about our duties peacefully. But we will make a step that we will not be inconvenienced. Look, Yes, um, as uh, my earlier colleague said, uh, we went back, did a kind of introspection, looked at what we did the last time. We have identified areas where we can improve upon. So you will definitely see some changes in the deployments that we are going to do. Um, we are going to ensure that the security of the capital, the security of all our visitors, the security of the citizenry, is properly you know, taken care of. Um, we call again upon members of the public to volunteer information. Security is a shared responsibility. Law enforcement is a shared responsibility. So we want the members of the public to partner closely with us. If you see anything, bring it to the attention of the police and we ensure that we take that information and make use of it to ensure that everybody goes about it for a legitimate uh, business without Absolutely. Absolutely. Because well, that is why we are there for. 
for the past few days, we have been working day and night, putting, finalizing our personal plans to ensure that all our visitors, in fact, all citizens, all residents within the period, you know, are absolutely safe. So we can assure you. Yes, you take advantage of the police and emergency lines. As I said earlier, if there's any information you want to pass on to the police, one eight five five five. Don't forget that. You ring it; it will come to our hot, hotline uh, emergency room, you know, control room, and it will pass on to the commander. And let's say action will be taken any time of the day. Those numbers are operational. Yeah. So we assure you, we will give up our best, but we we'll also call upon the public to partner closely with us. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So as you just said. Uh, uh, Awini, and earlier you had uh, DSP Awun Matogbe uh, raising the media and telling us the plans that they have actually put in place. And in summary, all they are saying is that uh, some roads are going to be closed. You are still yet to uh, uh, be told the exact roads that are going to be closed. But in due course, I'm sure we are going to put that message across. But as of now, what we, what we do know is that uh, even though most of the roads, some roads, I must say, uh, some roads are going to be closed. Uh, alternative routes are going to be made available for motorists, and as such, uh, there should be no cause for concern whatsoever. Uh, also, the information we are gathering is that some dual carriage roads are going to be turned into single roads, but uh, even in such instances, there will still be policemen placed at vantage points, and they are actually going to uh, direct motorists and, uh, and the, the, the citizens. Right, thank you very much, Kwabna. Kabna Chinche Hene Boate is the Joy News reporter. i tell you a bit more about this ECOWAS summit here in Accra. It's a mid-year summit, and it will consider a report on the community's main activities and projects over the first half of the year to be presented by the ECOWAS Commission President, Keda Desire uh, Udrago. Now, the 45th ordinary uh, summit of uh, the ECOWAS Authority of Health and State and Government will be preceded in Accra on Tuesday, 8 July 2014, by a mediation and security meeting of ECOWAS involving the foreign and defense ministers from all the member states. And well, the police is making plans on how to deal with the excessive traffic we are likely to be faced by here in the capital city as a result of this. Today on the program, we're taking a look at uh, the search for uh, Hip life artist Castro under fire and uh, a lady friend. Well, we spoke with the director of Marine Police, who's told us that indeed uh, no bodies have still been found. In contrast to what has been going on on social media platforms, as to uh, some bodies being found. I'm trying hard to read some of your messages, unfortunately. I'm having a challenge with uh, technology. You, you, you can understand the weather's pretty bad. And so then, I'd rather say goodbye for now. I'll see you again on midday on News Today, where we bring you more from the Flagstaff House. Good morning. <laughs>